70,000 dairy farms in the state of Wisconsin and we're at 6,000 and still losing more. This really hurts rural Wisconsin badly. Many dairy farmers that we work with are calling for major dairy reform, almost as if we had the last in the last farm bill. And instead of focusing so much on demand to begin to, to look at mechanisms to control and manage growth. What plans do you have in the next farm bill to begin to tweak the supply of milk so that farmers can get a fair price? Uh, not too much at this point in terms of supply management. Um, there's just, I mean, we, we look at, uh, it's, we're leaning more heavily, let me put it that way, into uh, domestic, um, into markets, so the demand side of things. Uh, one, of, one of the, probably the most promising things that we can do for dairy uh, to do that is to reverse what was done back in 2010 when it took uh, milk fat and uh, flavor out of our schools. Uh, we lost an entire generation of milk drinkers when we started to serve them chalk water. Um, and you think about the seniors, uh, juniors and seniors back in 2010, they now have kids of their own. Um, it was all done in the name of childhood obesity uh, when the research shows that uh, when you look at that um, uh, body mass index, that's a test I never do well on, um, unfortunately. <laughs> Uh, when they look at the, looked at the BMI before they did that, and they looked at the BMI for the 10 years following it, the kids got bigger because they started to drink more sugary, high sugary substitutes, highly caffeinated beverages. And so, so the solution there is the one that uh, uh, that Terry, <coughs> Congressman Van Norden talked about, and it's a bill that already passed out of the House Education Workforce Committee, Whole Milk for Healthy Kids doesn't force feed anybody anything, but it would restore the, the option of, of a great nutritional milk experience in our schools. And I think that would go such a long ways in my mind to uh, increasing the, uh, the, the market side of things, uh, the, uh, the demand side of things. Uh, uh, we, we've always been very reluctant to, to get into, you know, supply management that seems to go against uh, dictating what what people can grow and produce and provide. Just, um, I know there's some that are interested in that, but there's an awful lot of folks that don't want to be told by government what they what they're allowed to do. So, Kevin Hoyer, Joe Bragger, and Thomas Path. 